representing the Kansas City Royals, another elected runner presently injured, third baseman George Brett. Catcher Darrell Porter. Pitcher Larry Cora. From the Milwaukee the Brewers, Brewers, the third the injured third starter, injured. the manager of the Kansas, of the Kansas City, City Royals, Royals, Jim Pry. Jim Pry. that something was going to happen. And the explosion came. Lights are on now all the way around the stadium. It's just high. One and one with two out. Reggie aboard at first base. But the American League has a lead of two to nothing on Fred Lynn's home run. Daryl Porter is moved to the on-deck circle, swinging a bat. The catcher from the Kansas City Royals, Ogilvy, is swinging a miss to make it one and two. And there's Darrell. He stayed home in Kansas City yesterday, came late to do some work with a youngster who's having an alcoholism problem. In the bottom of the fifth inning, the other defensive changes, you have Cecil Cooper of the Milwaukee Brewers taking over at first base, Darrell Porter of Kansas City, spelling fist back of the plate. And the new third baseman taking the spot of Greg Nettles is Buddy Bell of the Texas Rangers. Briskly played ball game. An all-star game with all the substitutions. Randolph will handle this one. Maybe not. Reach a slow runner, and then Willie throws it away. Kenny is on his way to second, but Porter backs up the play, throws down to Yount, and they nail him. So Reach turned and didn't see Porter backing up alertly. Back with more of the 1980 All-Star Game after this word from our local stations. Well, there's a look at that last play. The ball actually kind of handcuffed Willie Randolph. He ran it into a short hop. It bounced off his leg. Then he had time to still get him, but he threw it down in the dirt by Cooper. But here's a great heads-up play by Daryl Porter. He's there to keep it from going in the dugout. A nice little one hopper to Robin Yount says, come on, all I got to do is make the tag, and they get him by 20 feet. Can he reach his spot? And the new pitcher, another Dodger. After we saw Welch, we now see Jerry Royce, who, of course, pitched the only no-hitter in the majors this season a week ago Friday against the Giants at Candlestick Park and were it not for a throwing error by Bill Russell it would have been a perfect game sixth inning American League two National League one and Darrell Porter comes up for the first time in the game who made the alert play backing up looks at a strike on one Two. This might have been the last place Darrell Porter thought he would be, Howard, in late March and early April in the All-Star Game. Remarkable story, too. In the vogue, perhaps, of Bob Welch. His rehabilitation. Men coping with life's problems and finally coping successfully. The highest kind of courage. Porter fouling it away, and so the count holds at 0-2. Jerry Royce, reborn in a way. Yep. Into the bullpen, back in the rotation now. A swing, and down he goes. Tommy, interestingly enough, has not been in an All-Star game since 1968, even though he was named to the teams the last two seasons. 0-2. How about that for a triumvirate? Brett sidelined with an injury, a hitter in the manner of Rod Carew. Jim Rice and Reggie Jackson. How'd you like to start a new franchise with those mm. three? They are a franchise. <laughs> they could hit three, four, and five. Half swing, and down goes John, and Jerry Royce makes it look easy as he strikes the side out in the sixth inning. So at the end of five and a half, it's still two to one, American League. Now he's got Jackson out of the game, Lynn out of the game, Rice sidelined with the injury. And he's got all those lefties in there against Royce. Well, 
I think every all-star manager will tell you, you can't please them all. You can either play to win with your best or try to get everybody in. There's a man who's become an institution in Los Angeles. The peanut vendor. Yep, famous From guy. All angles. Tell you one fellow I hope gets in tonight is Alan Trammell of Detroit. I do. Boy, too. was he excited. Mm. That one is ball four. Gets away from Porter. Concepcion will go to third. Take a wide turn there and then hold. Johnny McNamara, you can see where he was down that third base line. John was an excellent third base coach when he was over with the California Angels, and we'll look at this pitch again that ball just sinks and that actually handcuffs Porter that ball really sunk and now Daryl has to get on it in a hurry here comes Concepcion around now you don't even see McNamara he is way down the line he's letting Concepcion come as far as he can and says that's all hold it right there pal good work by Johnny mm -hmm. McNamara Porter charged with a pass ball so runners at first and third two down Phil Garner Takes outside. <laughs> Porter having a tough night. Daryl saying, man, I haven't <laughs> caught many sinker ballers like this, maybe. Steve has got good action on his fastball. You can see that last. Daryl, it just hit him on the top of the glove and never got him on the front part of the glove. One and oh on Garner. Good breaking ball. But you know what's funny? Take an all-star catcher like Daryl Porter's. You look at Concepcion at third and over at first, Ray Knight. Give them another inning. That's all they need. Don't handle them like they've been catching them all their life. Swing and a miss. One and two on the Pirates' second baseman. He keeps it down, I'll tell you keep that breaking pitch down there and that sinker down there and you're going to win some ball games. Steve right now record of seven and six. I don't know whether that's indicative of the kind of pitching that he has done all year long. A good ERA of 3.10. Knight goes. Garner takes inside. The throw goes through and then Gritch goes back to third but Davey is back in safely as Knight is in at second. That was a heads-up play by Bobby Gritch. They didn't have too much of a chance to get Knight. Bobby just came up in front of the bag to cut off the throw as we look at it one more time. And he's hoping that Concepcion is going to come down a little bit into no man's land where they can get him. But they can't. Davey just bluffed a little bit and got back under the tag. The count on Garner is two and two. And this one gets away from Porter. Another run will score. Concepcion shows the plate to make it four to two as Knight advances to third. So Steve has good stuff tonight, but too good for Porter. Now this appears to be a breaking pitch down and away. Daryl's got his glove turned the wrong way. And now all he's got to do is try and run it down. You know that Concepcion's going to score. He's got to try and hold Knight at third. 4-2. National League. Tom Bergmeyer of the Red Sox in the bullpen. 3-2 pitch. He walks him. <laughs> they send Garner. Pitches outside. The throw going through. Not in time as Knight holds the third. Bobby Gritch arguing just a little bit with the second base umpire Nick Colosi. Bobby trying to convince Colosi that he got him up in front of the bag before he reached the full impact Watch of his it. slide. Clearly safe. Tagged him late. Well, there it is up on the new Diamond Vision board at Dodger Stadium. 56,088. And as we look down from the helicopter, the largest crowd to ever watch a game in Dodger Stadium. From the Minnesota Twins, right fielder. And the welcome Ken up on the new board. We thank you. That last inning became suddenly untidy for an all-star game. Porter having all that trouble with Steve. But on balance, it's been an interesting game. 